it's it's about family drama, which is the most real horror, the horror that we all deal with and yes. all know about. <laughs> <laughs> the horror of going home for for a holiday. No. <laughs> exactly. Hey everyone, it's David Stark from Watcher Pass, and I'm talking to Molly Coons, the star of Wild Eyed and Wicked, which is coming to digital and on demand on June 11, 2024. I'm going to talk to her right now, and while you're watching, if you can like, subscribe to this channel, that would be fantastic. I'll spend a lot. Thank you. So, thanks so much for joining me. Today, I've got Molly Coons, the star of Wild Eyed and Wicked, which is coming to digital and on demand on June 11, 2024. It is an interesting meld of a couple different genres. It's got like a fantasy fairy tale element. It has some horror, and it also has a lot of family drama. They kind of blend together into this interesting and emotional journey, and Molly does a fantastic job in it i love this movie and i'm very excited to talk to you so thanks so much for joining me oh thank you so much i i'm really excited to, to talk about it excellent all right so first question how did how did you get involved in this how did this come across your desk it's such a kind of like random mix of different ideas <laughs> i'm just curious how this came to you yeah um it was actually a friend of a friend who um who knows gordon and who we had been talking at a party and he said you know my friend has this script. Um, I think, you know, you could be a good fit for this part. Would you want to, would you want to read the script? And I was like, okay, like, I guess <laughs> I had no idea what to expect. And, um, I was just blown away by the script and I felt so strongly as soon as I finished reading it, I was like, I have to be a part of this. I, I want to do everything I can to help yeah. bring this to life because I just think it's brilliant. I love it. I love how random that was. You know, sometimes it's like cause sometimes with random movies, like this movie came across me. I was like, I don't know what's going on here. It says it's a horror movie, but there's someone in like armor and a watch. Like, I don't understand at all. And then you watch yeah. it and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> well, and people that I've told they're, you know, they're like, oh, so you're in medieval armor. And I was like, yeah. And they're like, so it's a period piece. No. So it's a horror movie. And I'm like, yeah, but it's really about trauma and, you know, there's there's so much going on and it's such a cool world it's it's about family drama which is the most real horror the horror that we all deal with and yes all know about. <laughs> the horror of going home for for a holiday no <laughs> exactly so uh, you know, i guess it sounds like you were just intrigued by this what was it about lily that appealed to you what did you kind of love about her character that made you really want to kind of get behind this i love that she's a fighter i love that she wants you know, she wants more for herself. She wants to be healed. She wants to to have a better life and a bigger life, but there's something that's holding her back. And the fear of having to, to really decide to confront it and choosing to go through with it. I found her just heroic and complicated and um, messy and I loved seeing the full spectrum of emotion on her and and letting her have that because it's very rare you find that in a character and especially in a female character that you let them have rage and and justified you know yeah, for sure and i love that her character was like the strong member of the family it's like her character and her mom to some extent was also a strong member but like she was in this you know family like she was the driving force in a lot of this movie which was a nice kind of like role reversal with her dad who was a little bit more timid and a little bit more kind of like um you know i don't know like just not disconnected but he didn't take an as active of an approach in lily's healing as lily did which was interesting yeah and i think that was a really cool representation of um a lot of parent child adult adult child and parent relationships um where there comes that moment where the adult child sees the parent as a whole person and as a flawed person and not as their parent anymore and what it means to say i'm i'm actually going to choose my own path and not let you get in the way of what i need for myself anymore um i think that probably does resonate a lot with um like people of my generation particularly yeah no, for sure. I mean, my kids clearly, you know, their their dad is never flawed. He's always he's always right. But uh, oh no, you're <laughs> you're the superhero. Like you're. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> so I also noticed, you know, you, you don't have a ton of horror in your background too. So was it exciting to jump into the genre? I know this isn't like a 
like slasher horror film or kind of like a more traditional horror film, but was exciting to jump into the genre and kind of do something, you know, a little bit more scary, maybe with a little more practical effects. I'm not sure. Yeah, it was so exciting. I mean, I've, the practical effects were incredible and that kind of stuff is so fun and creative and you have this opportunity to like build this, build a world. And the, mm. the horror fantasy of it is really cool and was really new for me. I mean, I was intimidated by the horror elements of it because I'd never done anything like that before. And I didn't know that that was a genre that I would be drawn to um, because I have so much like indie drama in my background or, you know, I just didn't realize that would be something I felt so connected to. And to read this script and to feel, it's one of the only scripts I've read that I felt I have to do this, like this, this is very meaningful and, and powerful and um, yeah, to have that come from that genre was very surprising to me in such a cool way. Yeah, for sure. And then, you know, the nice thing about horror is you can have, you can have dramas where, you know, there are demons and you, you can represent those with various ways, but in horror, you can represent them as real demons and you're still telling the story of this family and the kind of the troubles, but you have kind of something external that people can focus on and kind of get drawn into as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and you know, your character has an interesting kind of like job and background. Did you do any research into, I don't know, like fencing or horseback riding or <laughs> 12th century demons for this movie? Um, I did take fencing lessons and I did broadsword training, uh, before the movie started. And both of those experiences were really cool. Um, how often do you get to do that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. And I had previously had a little bit of horseback riding experience in training for a a project that I was up for a few years ago. So. Perfect. So yeah, you you got the requisite set of skills that you would need to kind of do this movie. <laughs> yeah, and, I don't have to. I don't have to cheat it on my resume. Exactly. And now, <laughs> and now that you have a suit of armor, I assume you got to keep the suit of armor. Now you can like go to Ren fairs and like just really kind of live it up, right? I didn't get to keep the suit of armor and oh, maybe no. I need to, yeah, maybe I need to bug Gordon about that a little bit, <laughs> but, um, no, it was very cool to like, I mean, I think shipping that thing is crazy expensive because it's so heavy, but it was really cool to actually get to wear it and fight in it and, and feel all of that, um, as we shot it. Yeah, no, yeah. You just, you, it must have felt like amazing just to be, it was probably heavy, but then also it's just really cool to have that experience and get, get paid after you've learned how to actually fight. That must have been a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a blast. Yeah. And then also it sounds like uh, Stephanie was a lot of fun to, to, to fight with. So that must have been a fun experience too. She was. She's, yeah, she's like game for anything. She's so, uh, so talented and so versatile. I felt really lucky to get to work with her and like, She's fun, and then she snaps into character, and she's terrifying. And you're like, oh my god, what? where did this come from? But just, and then and snaps right back, and it's like, then she's stuff, and she's um, yeah, incredibly impressive. And it must have yeah. been, uh, I don't know, what was it like seeing her in her full makeup for the first time? Because it was pretty, it was a pretty <gasps> like big transformation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was it was horrifying. I was because. Also, I don't, you know, I hadn't done any movies like this before. I was like, what? I'm like, oh my God, what did they, how did they do this? What did they do? And um, I hadn't seen a lot of the, a lot of that prosthetic stuff up close before. And so that was cool too, to like get the, how they, how they get the scarring on her face and all of that. Um, yeah, very cool. Very fun. Which, and it's also kind of the perfect way to kind of like, insert some actual dread in you when you're seeing it for the first time like it, it yeah. makes the acting easier you're like oh my god <laughs> it's, a, it's a real yeah. reaction uh-huh yeah absolutely <laughs> uh and so had you worked with any of the other cast before it was a really kind of interesting fun cast i was curious if you worked with any of the uh, the other cast members before if this was, or you're all just meeting them for the first time on gordon's farm yeah i had never worked with any of them before we all just met on the farm um we had done a like a zoom read through before that, but it, yeah, I, I had not met any of them and it was really cool just how much they fleshed out the world that like I had already created Lily's internal world. And I, 
read the script. I had, you know, my ideas on who these characters were, but they were my ideas. And it's really fun when you have an actor come into play and then they bring all this other stuff to the table and you're like, oh, that's great. And that gives me an idea. And now this dynamic has a different uh, context and, and you get to play with that. Like Michael, especially like he just brings, he brings all of this quirkiness and all these elements that I hadn't considered to the character. And it made it really cool to develop that relationship. That was really fun. And I love that you had a little bit of time beforehand to develop those. So it wasn't happening in real time on set. You were able, able to get those done. And then on, when you were on set, you could like focus on making the movie. I know indie films, you don't always get that much time to prep. So I like that you had a little bit of time for this one. Yeah, we squeezed every every little minute of prep we could get out of it because I I actually was uh, filming in Vancouver and like had to fly directly from Vancouver to Pennsylvania to start shooting the movie and we were we were pressed for prep time then so it was great that we got like before that we had gotten some time yeah for sure and you were like one of the only members of the cast who actually got to interact with colleen camp what was it like working with her and did you get much time with her or was it really just kind of like you were, you did the you know zoom sessions with her in the film and then that was kind of it it was all the just the zoom sessions um and yeah we didn't get like on set time she has always been someone that I've admired a lot and it was awesome to to get to be a part of the same film like that was very cool and she's such a, a cool person and what I've learned zoom is all you need to really meet someone you don't really need to actually meet them in person I know we're friends, gonna be right? best friends after this exactly. you know this is <laughs> I will call you when my demons start manifesting and you can come out fight them for me <laughs> you're like Molly get your armor yeah or, or get the armor from from uh, Gordon's farm and get your right. sword let's go <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh so I know we have limited time I'm gonna switch to a lightning round they're just lightweight questions about the film I want to see how your personal experiences map to things in the movie you can feel free to skip any of them I won't be offended but I try to keep them very answerable okay great first question uh before this had you ever fenced or was this your first time actually fencing first time fencing was prep for the movie very nice. Very nice. I love that. I love I love you learn new skills. And now you can do both kind of horror and period pieces. It, it, like it, it works both ways. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, before this, had you ever worn armor before? Was this your first time wearing armor as well? First time wearing armor as well. All right. Yeah. All the sense. skills. I love it. Yeah. Um, did you take history in college? Yes. All right. Okay. I definitely in high school. Yeah. I think so. In middle Middle East or Middle Ages history, or uh, I guess we probably all take the same kind of general. I didn't take any history. Middle Ages history. Yeah. I didn't take any. No, I wasn't like a history major. Yeah. Um, do you believe in demons? Metaphorical ones, yes. All right. That's that's a perfectly valid answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh your character is quite the kind of like bird expert. Have you ever been bird watching? No, but I hear that's going to happen to me when I get older. It just creeps up on you. Assuming that birds are still a thing and they're not just like, we're not just living in an AI hellscape. But yeah, that, that would be, that sounds nice. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you actually like, did, when you, your, I guess it was more your, your younger self was like listening to those bird sounds. Did you like look them up and figure out what those were? Or did, was there just not enough time to like even try to identify them? No, I I didn't actually try to identify them. Yeah. Um, this question: Have you ever had night terrors? No. That's no. Good. Um, they're fascinating though and weird. Yeah. Yeah. And, and very dangerous, as as you showed in the movie. They can be very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you ever felt like you or your family was cursed? No. All great answers. Very happy, well-rounded, not, <laughs> yeah. not tragic answers. I love it. Uh, and the last question. So in this movie, you had to fight off a demon with something that you loved. If you had to fight off a demon with something that you loved, what would you choose? Um, Kittens. Just, just, throw, just throw kittens at them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I love kittens, but also they can they can really mess you up. Those claws are not like dull yet. And so... It's like a, a thousand little paper cuts on your body and, you know. 
that's true. I think the, the problem would be you have to train them to actually attack. I, I, don't, I don't have cats, but I've heard that you can't really get them to do anything you actually want. That is true. They're very independent minded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So the, the film is coming out on June 11, 2024. You're out promoting the movie, getting the word out. But after people see you in Wild Eyed and Wicked, do you have anything else coming up on the horizon people can look forward to? Yeah, I'm in Vancouver now shooting season two of The Irrational on NBC. So um, that show, we premiere our second season, I believe, in September of this year, uh, Tuesday nights, 10 p.m. on NBC. Perfect. All right. So look forward to that in the fall. Yeah. But before that, check out Wild Island Wicked. Like I said, it is a, a wonderful kind of like mix of different genres, fantasy, horror and family drama, all fueled by Molly's wonderful fighting and acting. Uh, this is Molly Coons, the star. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. This is really fun. That was Molly Coons, the star of Wild Island Wicked, which is coming to digital and on demand on June 11, 2024. It is a wonderful kind of blend of different elements. It has like a fantasy fairy tale element. It has a horror element. It has some family draw. They all merge together into an interesting and emotional uh, movie. I definitely think you should check it out. And Molly does a fantastic job in it. If you like this interview, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. Make sure all my new content goes straight to you. Thank you. Thank you.